We are in the sludge. Sludge. Good morning, my beautiful, gorgeous friends. How are you today? Today I'm going to go fill out my passport stuff. I'm applying for my passport. I have had a time this week. Um, I knew, I told you I was going to plant my little avocado trees in my last video and that just, that did not happen. Today, um, I've already put all my stuff on. I put on my moisturizing products this morning. Um, I always, before I start, I, I always use a toner. I have like three different toners. So I just try different toners, whatever's at my reach at the time. And then I start by, I spray a little rose water on my face. I do the Hada Labo. I put on my SPF 100 because I am going to be driving around and I do not want my face to get stuff. Today I'm going to try a little trick. I'm going to use my um, Always On by Smash, Smashbox today and I'm going to do a little trick that I saw some woman talk about that's supposed to be like the deal. Um, mixing concealer with your foundation and it's supposed to give you better coverage and it's supposed to look really good so let's see. So I'm just putting some in my, some in there, and you know I am not a big, I don't, you know I, I don't really like to wear a lot of foundation. I mean a lot on me. I, it's just, it just feels too covery. Okay, so I just put about that much of the concealer. My nail broke. I'm going Sunday to get my nails done. Sorry, you got to see that. Um, and I'm just gonna mix it up. You know me, I am not fancy with my makeup application. Everybody's like, you know, it's messy, but it always comes together, right? So we're just going to put it on. I got this little trick that I like to do. Um, um, with it, with it. I could do this. <laughs> I just like to rub it on my arms when I'm done. Because if I have excess, you know, what do you do with the excess? Wash it off, waste it. You can make your arms look a little smoother and nicer, you know? That's a nice little trick. I do it all the time now. And I'm not going too far down my neck with it because I've got this black shirt on. I. I just got myself dressed so that once I get my makeup on today, I can get out the door because I have 10 minutes. Do you think we can do this in 10 minutes? Of course we can because it's not going to be that big of a deal. Okay, I got a brand new, um, it's called, oh God, Hex, Hexy, Hexb, Hex8. H E X Z three or something. I can't see my glasses. I'm going to put it down. It looks like this. I got it off of Amazon. I was trying to look for cooler tones for, um, doing my, um, this wasn't that expensive either. It was like 12 bucks. It's nice. It's cooler tones, um, for my face. I just noticed that I just need to go with cooler tones. So what I do with this, because it's like, a, it's got this you know, stripe thing. I just take a brush like this, it's a little wider, and I just put it on like this, and I make sure the darker side is down. This is like a new little thing that I, and I kind of like it. it, especially when I'm in a hurry. I like the idea of that. So let's do that again on the other side, because I don't have a lot of time. And what, I'm gonna look glamorous for my, um for the guy that's gonna help me fill out my paperwork for my passport. All right, yesterday was super interesting. I was at work, right? And I'm looking, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm gonna turn 65 next month. I just looked at my driver's license and I realized I have to renew it. <laughs> I have to renew my driver. I had to renew my driver's license. So I'm at work, right? And I'm like, oh my gosh. 
So I'm thinking, you know what? I'm, I think I have to go. So I came home, got all the paperwork because, all right, I have a confession to make. I never changed my name when, since I, I, I always had my, my, my first husband's name because I was, um, when my husband and I, my second, the husband I'm married to now after, and we're almost married 30 years, um, <laughs> they never sent our uh, marriage certificate in the mail. And you know, you know how we always go, well, someday I'll take care of that. And then, because I couldn't like change my name over to, um, to my new, my married name now, um, without it. Right. Of course. Of course. Right. Of course. Right. 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 All right. So I never did it. And then, so we move over here to this new address. I'm like, I have to, I have to get my, my address changed over. I've been here two years. I never did that. So I'm thinking, you know what? You're gonna do your passport tomorrow. You better deal with this. So I thought, you know, maybe if they look at my driver's license and they don't see the right addresses on everything, they might not let me have my passport. So I went yesterday to the DMV. I well, last year I did try to renew my license and, and get my name changed over. My husband went with me and they said I needed my divorce papers for my first husband. Guess what? I couldn't find them. I could not find him to save my life. And um, so I've been looking and looking and looking. And wouldn't you know, when I was getting myself ready for my passport, I found my divorce papers from my first husband. Who knew? And I'm, I always had them there. And I'm like, what in the... I don't know. There's just too much going on in my life. I had them all packed in a... In a um, I guess it was a folder that I missed. I thought I looked through it, but you know, the, the papers, I, when I looked at them, I went, I did, they didn't even look recognizable because I hadn't even looked at those things for over 30 years. So, you know, like I got divorced 34 years ago. So the papers don't, didn't, I didn't recognize, you know, my, you know how when you look at things, you don't see things right. Well, at least I do. I'm dyslexic. That's another problem. I have mild dyslexia. So Especially when I'm stressed out, it gets worse than usual. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just getting ready and I'm not telling you what I'm doing. So this is called the double, this is called double, double, a uh, double dipper. It's my, it's my blush. Um, here it is. Gosh, I just opened it and I didn't you know what I made. Mean. Double dipper. It's pretty. It's really pretty. All right, I just put that on. I'm taking, um... I have this um, palette. It's uh, I think I, it's kimchi chic, and I'm going to just do a real quick. I'm just going to do this color, this, and maybe this on the outside, and then line my eyes. Okay, because I have five minutes. I just want to get there 15 minutes early, just just because I think I need to. All right, so I don't like that. So I'm just going to take this little brush and I'm going to put this over my whole eye. Yeah, so I know, does that sound like jibber jabber to you? Okay, it probably does. But, um, so when I was like, when I went there the first time to get my name changed, they're like, ma'am, you can't change your um, name without the driver's license. And I'm like, really? I can't change the, my name over without my driver's license. I had my birth certificate. I had my marriage certificate. I had my uh, my present driver's license. No, ma'am, we need to know how you got from this name to this name to this name. We can't possibly give you your mar new married name without knowing where you got that name. I'm like, really? Okay, so, you know, I have this little orangey color. I think I'm gonna add this on just for fun. Oh, that's pretty. You know, sometimes you gotta try new things. Maybe I'll mix it with the pinky. 
Um, yeah, from last night. So anyways, I was frustrated, so she wasn't going to wait on me, so then she waited my husband, he got his, his um, new, what is that called, the real ID, yeah, that was the whole purpose of me going there, was because I needed to get the real ID, you know, because we can't fly on airplanes or whatever without it, alright, so now I'm going to stick this little pinky color on there, this little pinky color, I'm going to add that over the, this one, see what happens, that's pretty. Hmm, now I'm gonna look, look really, really done. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. And, um, hmm. I'm not sure about, you know, I just applied this with my fingers and I didn't even use a brush and the foundation looks really good. All right, so um, let's do a little liner. I'm just gonna do an angle brush, an angle brush liner today because I don't have a lot of time. And uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so, so I'm gonna use this darker color right here. This dark, and I'm gonna use my angle brush. And I'm just gonna use this, this color right here. And I'm just gonna be right there. This is a pretty color because it's kind of a deep, Purple, deep purple. Remember deep purple back in the day? If you're my age, you know, you remember deep purple smoke on the water? <laughs> Where did that come from? Anyway, so when we got in another line with my husband when he's doing his thing, getting his real ID, and he was so disappointed because he's been for years, when are you going to change your name? When are you going to change your name? I'm like, oh, brother, really? It's, it's legally my last name is changed over for tax purposes and everything. It just wasn't on my driver's license. All right, so um, anyways, when we get over to this other lady who helped my husband, um, she, um, she goes, I was upset and she goes, listen, I'm gonna tell you how to do this because I, I could not find my, I, I couldn't find my driver's license. I mean, my divorce certificate to save my life. I had no idea where it was. I was looking for it for something else a while back. And I could not find it. So anyways, long story short, she just says, look, just go get your social security card changed over to your married name. That's simple. Birth cert All you need is your birth certificate and your marriage certificate and your driver's license. And she says, and that's all. Then bring your pet and, and then go get a passport. And then, um, then she said, then go to come back here and they, they have to honor the passport. And I go, well, why, what, what, what's the difference? And she goes, I don't know. It's just their rules are different. The passport rules are different than our rules. But the thing is, she says, we have to honor passports. So that was when I was in the process of doing, well, I act, I just ran across my divorce papers and then guess what? That that happened. All right, so I am almost ready. I just have to put a little mascara on. Put this one on. I didn't like it. I'm gonna put my old standby, the e.l.f., you know, the big mood e.l.f. You know, of course, I'm gonna put this all in the description box below. All right. Mascara, I'm not putting a lot on. This, look, this turned out pretty good, this look today. And if I don't like the way my hair is turning out, I'm gonna throw it in a pony gel, which is what I always do if it doesn't lay out right. But sometimes it just goes funky on me, even when I set it. I really like, look, look at this color. Oh my, this is so pretty. Normally I would never praise my, but I really like it. I'm going to be using this again. Woo. I think I have to play with colors more girlies because this is gorgeous. And I really like the combination. I mean, that was a happy accident, you guys. I love happy accidents. So... Mixing orange and pink makes like a coral color, right? So 
So I would call this a creamy coral, wouldn't you? Creamy coral. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Creamy coral. Yep. Got a little dab of mascara on there. Um, and another thing I really like is the fact that, um, I did do my dermaplane and you know, I'm going to, I swear by it. I swear by it because it makes your makeup go on so much nicer. All right. I'm going to do my finishing powder, which is my elf. It's the perfect finish HD powder. And um, today my husband's coming home early. So when I get back from, that's what it looks like. So when I get back from, um, the post office. I'll probably get back before he does. Just gonna do this. Um, I'm just going to put it. I didn't even put any light underneath. I do love this. I do love this um, contour powder. It's soft. It went on easy. It looks really good, especially if you don't. You know, I'm thinking maybe one of my one of my subscribers said less is more and she's right less is more thank you thank you thank you so um all right lipstick real quick lipstick i will use i'm always on the fence about my my lipstick i think i'm gonna just use this pinky pink pink i'm gonna do a light lip All right, so that's that was my drama. Needless to say, after I didn't even have to take my driver's test. The so late I, you know, I learned a little trick. If you're really nice to people, they're nice to you. But I mean, I haven't had any accidents or any kind of anything. I haven't had any tickets or accidents in the last ten years. And sometimes they will they will bless you and not make you. Um, get your take the test but I know I will in five years I will have to take my test because um, I will be turning 70 in five years so that means when you turn 70 They want to make sure you don't get in accidents and things like that. So, and I don't blame mom, you know. So, yeah, they did make me take the eye test, but I had LASIK years ago, and it's still holding girls and boys. I am telling you, I took, I whizzed right through that eye test. The <laughs> lady like went, "Whoa, your eyes are with no glasses," and I said, "I had LASIK." <laughs> that like. I had that like 14 years, 15 years ago, and it's still holding, so whatever. But I've also taken really good care of myself, and I, I think my eyes, um, my vision held. The only thing I have a problem with is I have that, um, I have that, oh, I gotta go. I have um, the, the old lady eyes, you know, like, you know, you know, you, you have to have it for you. You can't see up close, right? Okay, so that's the big giveaway. But I started wearing those those glasses um, when I was in my 40s, late 40s. So, but um, and then when I had Lasix, I really had to. I didn't have to use um, up close glasses when I didn't wear my glass when I didn't wear my contact lenses or my um, my regular reading, you know, my regular glasses to see because I was so blind. Okay, that looks good. I think, I think I have to go. Um, anyways, I was excited that I didn't have to take the written test. And yeah, 
so I think I look okay enough to go get my passport. I will see you guys later. We are planting our avocado trees outside today, and 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 I have like a herb seed garden thing um, to have. To, I'm gonna start indoors and then take them outdoors in the spring. I love working in my garden. So we will talk about that at another time. Love you, love you. Take care, please. And I will be checking in again soon. See you in the next video. OMG. They took me on the base. Okay, I have a an appointment at 9.30 for the Camp Pendleton post office. They had an availability for me. And... I go to get, I go there, wait, hold on, I'm getting you guys situated. So I go there, and the guy says, I can't let you on base, man. And I'm like, what? I have an appointment at the post office on your base. And he goes, he goes, well, ma'am, you don't have any, any um, military ID, or you don't have a pass or whatever to get there. And I'm like, really? He goes, you know how many people come here for this reason and then they can't go. I'm like, so now I got to start the process all over again. What the heck, man?